the Lion King. Mufasa, the Lion King, was the ruler of the Pride Lands in Africa, a majestic and vast territory where all the animals lived in harmony. He was beloved by his subjects and respected by all, and he ruled with kindness, wisdom, and strength. He had a son named Simba, who was to become the next king when he grew up. Simba was still a cub, but he was already full of curiosity, mischief, and energy. He loved to play with his best friend, Nala, a young lioness, and explore the lands with her. One day, Simba and Nala wandered too far from home and found themselves in a forbidden place, the elephant graveyard. It was a place where the bones of elephants and other animals lay scattered around, a grim reminder of the dangers that lurked in the shadows. Suddenly, three hyenas appeared, Shensi, Bonsai, and Ed, and they started to chase the cubs. Simba and Nala managed to escape, but they were shaken and scared. They ran back to the Pride Lands, hoping that they would never have to go to that place again. However, Simba's uncle, Scar, had seen everything from a distance, and he was not pleased. Scar was the younger brother of the Lion King, and he was jealous of his brother's power and fame. Scar was sneaky, cunning, and treacherous, and he plotted to overthrow his brother and take his place as king. Scar knew that Simba was the key to his plan, so he waited for the right moment to strike. One day, Scar took Simba to a gorge, telling him that he wanted to show him a surprise. Simba was excited and curious, but he had no idea what Scar had in mind. Suddenly, a herd of wildebeests appeared, running towards them. Scar told Simba to run for his life, but he himself stayed behind, watching with a smirk. Simba managed to avoid the stampede, but he saw his father, the Lion King, in danger. Mufasa, Simba's father, had come to rescue his son, but he was trapped on a cliff, with no escape. Simba tried to save Mufasa, but he was too weak and small. Mufasa told Simba to run away and save himself, but Simba refused. Mufasa knew that it was too late for him, but he wanted his son to be safe. Mufasa used his last breath to tell Simba that he loved him and that he would always be proud of him. Simba cried, watching his father fall into the stampede, helpless and alone. Scar appeared, pretending to be shocked and saddened by the tragedy. He told Simba that it was his fault that Mufasa died, and that he should run away and never come back. Simba, confused and traumatized, obeyed Scar and fled into the wilderness. He had no idea what had happened, but he knew that he had lost his father and his home. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. Simba roamed the lands, alone and hungry, until he found two new friends, Timon and Pumba. Timon was a meerkat, and Pumba was a warthog, and they were both odd and funny. They welcomed Simba into their home and showed him a new way of life, a carefree and lazy lifestyle where nothing mattered except having fun. Simba forgot about his past and his responsibilities as a future king. He laughed, ate, danced, and sang with Timon and Pumba, and he enjoyed their company. However, he also missed his old life, his family, and his duty. Now a young adult, Simba rescues Timon and Pumba from a hungry lioness, who turns out to be Nala. She and Simba reunite and fall in love, and she urges him to return home, telling him that Pride Lands have become a drought-stricken wasteland under Scar's reign. Feeling guilty over his father's death, Simba refuses and storms off. He then encounters Rafiki, who tells him that Mufasa's spirit lives on in Simba. Simba is visited by the ghost of Mufasa in the night sky, who tells him that he must take his rightful place as king. Realizing that he can no longer run from his past, Simba decides to return to the Pride Lands. Aided by his friends, Simba sneaks past the hyenas at Pride Rock and confronts Scar, who had just struck Sarabi. Scar taunts Simba over his role in Mufasa's death and backs him to the edge of the rock, where he reveals to him that he murdered Mufasa. 
Enraged, Simba pins Scar to the ground and forces him to reveal the truth to the rest of the pride. Taimon, Pumba, Rafiki, Zazu, and the lionesses fend off the hyenas while Scar, attempting to escape, is cornered by Simba at the top of Pride Rock. Scar begs for mercy and attempts to blame the hyenas for his actions, Simba spares his life, but orders him to leave the Pride Lands forever. Scar attacks his nephew, but Simba manages to toss him from the top of the rock. Scar survives the fall, but is attacked and killed by the hyenas, who overheard his attempt to betray them. Simba takes over the kingship and makes Nala his queen as rain begins to fall. A few years later, the Pride Lands become lush and green again. And once more all the animals gather around the Pride Rock as Rafiki presents Simba and Nala's son to all the animals in the Pride Lands in Africa. The End